Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing a book tag and today I'm going to be doing the birthstone book tag. So basically this was created by Jay from the Awkward Bookworm. Hello. <laughs> Um, and she didn't tag me. She told me to do it, but when she made this video, she didn't know who I was <laughs> and we weren't friends. So yeah, um, I'm gonna do it. I'm all prepped. Let's get into it. First question is January, so Garnet. Associated with warding off negativity and forces and dark energies. Name a book with the darkest evils character you can think of. I went with Pennywise from it. I love this book. You guys know I love this book. Like the f I talk about it so much and I've made like such a long review video on it that I know a lot of people <laughs> have come to my channel from that review video for so thank you guys who came from that video for sticking around but yeah I love this book a lot Pennywise just saying like the first like under 100 pages like there's deaths and I'm like there's so much happening like I love this book <laughs> February Amethyst is associated with royalty name a book with Regal qualities. You can base this off a character of choice, the king of all books. Okay. I had to go with like a court system. So a court of mist and fury. Um, they have the night court, the day court, the autumn court. Um, so I decided to go with this. If you don't know, I really do like this series. It's very popular on booktube. So I know everybody's heard of it. Everybody's talked about it. Um, at least in like a hall. I don't know. But it's everywhere. But it's actually a good series like book one I loved and then it took me a while to pick up book two which I loved and then book three I loved so yes March aquamarine washed out name a wishy-washy character a character who is not strong or a follower I had to go with the siren by Kira Cass just because I thought it was kind of cool like a wishy-washy character and this book is about sirens um yeah the main character I don't remember her name this book was kind of Kaylin I don't know this book kind of sucks but I mean I never talk about it and it has a pretty cover and the character is pretty wishy-washy and she's just kind of there so pass April diamond a diamond in the rough name a book that you love but that is not well known and this book I haven't talked about in so long but if you guys have been here for a bit you know that I love this book when I read it and that is um, Impulse by Ellen Hopkins. Basically, this book has a lot of trigger warnings, so keep that in mind. Um, about three characters who have all experienced suicide and their fair share of mental health problems. And it's about them and their story. And we follow all three of them. And it's so good. Like, it's so good. Like, I now I want to reread it. <laughs> Why is there so many questions to this tag? So <laughs> then there's me who made a tag with 20 questions. Okay. Emerald said to balance energy. Name two characters who balance each other out. I decide to go with an OTP that I really like, and that is um, from To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. It's Peter and Laura Jean. So I just like this couple. I think it starts off with that kind of like fake relationship kind of trope, and it goes from there. Um, these books are super cheesy and light, but I did really love the first one. Second one was okay, and then the third one I didn't like, but the first one so solid and these characters and the story is so much fun so if you're looking for a lighthearted contemporary definitely check this out june pearl pearl is associated with royalty loyalty good job julia uh name a character who is loyal to the end and for this i actually went with um Coraline by neil gaiman which basically this book is about a girl named Coraline who goes through this door into another world but it's very similar to her own but her parents are kind of different um it's her other dad and her other mom and there's I just couldn't believe like I love when kids are portrayed this way that they're like really strong like smart kids and not to the point where like they're prodigy kids like um but to the point where they just I just love this story <laughs> like I don't know what else to say but Coraline um I really liked her I thought she had a lot of guts I think she had a lot of strength that most people her age wouldn't be able to get through what she did and she's loyal throughout the book maybe not to her parents exactly but she well I guess she is and then she realizes her mistake anyways also the cat in this book is kind of loyal too so yeah I really like this book it's just a fun fast read um great for October-ish months even though it's November 
July, ruby, blood red. That made your blood boil or that made you angry. And for this, I have The Marriage Plot by Jeffrey Eugenides, which you guys know, The Virgin Suicides is one of my favorite books ever. So I was so excited to read this and I didn't like it at all. It really upset me. Um, some of the lines in this book were so offensive. Um, yeah, I couldn't even finish it. I DNF'd it. It was so bad and I hated it. <laughs> August. Pyridot? Is that what it's called? What? It, what? Pale green. Name a supporting character who, who you like better than the main character. This was kind of hard for me <laughs> because, but I went with, these questions are hard, Jay. Like these took me forever. Um, I went with Shatter Me by Taramathi and Juliet was never my favorite, but Warner, well, first it was, who's the other dude? Who's the other dude in this book? I don't know what his name is. I'm thinking like, I don't remember his name. Um, the other dude I liked at first, but Warner and Kenji, they're just such good characters in this book. And I know Warner could still be considered like a main character, but whatever. <laughs> September, Sapphire. Like the ocean which is calming. Blue like the ocean which is calming. Name a book that had a calming effect on you. So for this, I went with a really fun one and that is um, Cheese Sweet Home by Konami Kanata. And this is a manga all about a little kitty. And it's the cutest thing. And I couldn't tell you how happy I was reading this. Like I was filled with so much joy. Like if you're a cat, like shout out to my fellow cat moms out there, read this, it's great. October, Opal. Iridescent, name an iridescent book. This can be a book with a beautiful cover, shiny, lots of color, or it can be based off character, or colorful, okay. I went with the Bane Chronicles. I think people don't give this enough cover justice. Um, like, yeah, it has a person on it, which I know a lot of people don't like, but like, look how shiny it is with the blue. I think it's beautiful. And like the spine, look at it. Like no one talks about how pretty the Bane Chronicles is. Like, I like it a lot. Like, damn. Her topaz, associated with Billions. Name a char name a book with a character who rides to the top in a time of adversity. So for this, I decided to go with the girl Julia in um, the one only Ivan. She really sticks up for the animals. In this book, basically, it's about a gorilla, and he's in like a shopping mall in kind of like a little like not pet store, like a little like not e it's not even a zoo. It's just like a little attraction in a mall and there's some animals there so he's there and there's this, an elephant there and there's a dog there and there's some other animals there and she really sticks up for them when um you know they can't do it themselves and i just love this book it's so fun and light um i know some of you guys have been like messaging me that you picked this up for my recommendation and just thank you it's just such a cute read it's really fast and fun so last but not least december Blue Zircon, associated with friendship. Name a book with a friendship you want to be a part of. So for this, I decided to go with Ganta and Shiru from Dead Man Wonderland by, I always don't say like the author's names of manga because I can't pronounce them for shit, but I feel like it's rude to not at least try. So Gen Z Karako, uh, Kazuma Konando. Yeah. So this is great. I love their friendship. Like at first, like Shiru kills me. Like she's just kind of like, hi. Like she's just like, what are those people? And then Ganta's like, who, like what? <laughs> Ganta's kind of just like, okay. <laughs> and she's like, I'm your friend. <laughs> like, I just love it. It's so cute. And yeah, I haven't finished this series yet. So I want to see where their friendship goes from there. If you guys have it, that was the Burstown book tag. Thank you to Jay for telling me to do this. Um, Basically, I'm going to be tagging some people, so I want to tag um, three dudes that I don't tag enough, and that is Sajid from Books on My Social Life. I love him. He's great. Um, Cam from Wolfshot Publishing. He's such a sweet and he recently tagged me to do a video too, so um, another J from Captured in Words. So I hope you guys all do this tag. Don't feel pressured, of course, but you've been tagged. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, be sure to click the subscribe button and click the notification bell to be updated for when I post new videos and all that sort of stuff. And I'll see you all very soon with a new video. Bye. The power keeps you feeling